It sounds like we are getting closer and closer to seeing Ronaldo sign with a new club this summer. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. And massive reports this morning in the Ronaldo transfer saga of 2022. Ronaldo is reportedly willing to take a considerable pay cut to fulfill his wish to represent a Champions League challenger next season, according to the independent Miguel Delaney. Man United are adamant that Ronaldo is still not for sale. However, Ronaldo is trying to exit the team on a positive note. I don't think he's necessarily being a mercenary here. I think he expected more from Manchester United. Maybe he should have known better, but he wanted the return last year. Didn't work out. Now, obviously, it wasn't his fault. He scored so many goals considering you know the service he was getting. He was great for Manchester United um, last season, especially considering some things that happened in his personal life. Um, and he was just an excellent player for them. Uh, and just kind of created a huge buzz by Man United. I'm sure they've made a lot of money on shirt sales and just obviously ticket sales if people want to see Ronaldo. It is now reported that the Portuguese strikers' preferred destinations include Bayern Munich, Chelsea, and Paris Saint-Germain. However, some potential suitors are hesitant to take on his United salary, which some courses claim could be as high as 700,000 euros per week and how his presence may dictate a radical change to the team's playing style. Some managers have obviously a very particular play style. We can look at Tuchel's Chelsea or even Nagelsmann's Bayern Munich. And, you know, certain players might not fit in those, you know, systems. Obviously, Bayern play a high press. Is Ronaldo able to play a high press at this age? Maybe not. I certainly think Ronaldo fits as Bayern's typical number nine, but there are so many implications when taking on a player such as Ronaldo into your squad. Um, that just comes with, obviously, he's going to be a very, very, very big presence in the locker room. Will Kimmich, Neuer, and Muller like that? Um, but I think, you know, he's trying to help overcome these blockades, and obviously Ronaldo's prepared to significantly lower his contract expectations, which is a massive, massive update to the scenario. Um, it kind of just allows... Byron to have a better stance at signing this player because it's going to be hard to compete with someone like PSG or Chelsea for wages. But I think if Byron can get him on a cheap transfer fee, I think this you know alleviates some um, concerns about wage because I think some fans, including myself, are a little bit worried about a wage crisis um, and just kind of differing wages. If Ronaldo comes in, he might destroy our kind of wage system. Um, but I think this should help relieve a lot of those concerns and make the setting a lot more likely for the Bavarians. And honestly, I'm getting really excited. It looks like Ronaldo will be on the move this summer. Hopefully we see him in Munich shirt next season. I think that would just be incredible. I think it'd be so, so exciting. There'd be obviously such a buzz around the team. And just imagine that, that attack with Ronaldo in it. This would mean a certain exit for Lewandowski this summer, but if we can sell Lewandowski and profit still when buying Ronaldo, it's hard to find a reason why we shouldn't do it. I'm saying, let's go. I'm going to make my stance clear. Let's go get Ronaldo before someone else sweeps him up. This could bring us a Champions League or two in the next two seasons. I just think it would be such an exciting time to be a Bayern Munich fan and just create such a buzz around the team. Um, and obviously, you mean a huge inflow of fans into Bayern Munich as well. And I think if you want to continue to establish yourselves as a global power in the football game, I think this is an absolute essential transfer to make when you have a possibility and an option to make these kind of signings. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more Bayern Munich contact this in the future, please subscribe to this channel. Hope to see you on the next one. Until then, Mia Samia.